Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use EdCafe AI's quiz feature. Instead of spending time writing quizzes from scratch, EdCafe can actually help you instantly create assessments that match your lesson content, whether that's based off of a simple topic, adding in, pasting in a text, using a web page if you want a quiz based on current events, or by uploading a file like a chapter PowerPoint or a chapter PDF that you want a quiz based off of. For today's example, we are going to use a PowerPoint file based on Roman Romeo and Juliet. So not only is it about the play, but it is also about the theater etiquette from back in the day as well. So let's go ahead and upload this document so that way we can get our quiz based off of that information. Once it's uploaded, we can select our question type. We're going to stick with multiple choice and we'll select 10 questions. Then we can add in our additional instructions. So for these additional instructions, we do want to include at least one quote analysis question so that students can interpret the meaning. And then we can test students' understanding of literary devices like foreshadowing, dramatic irony, and metaphor for other questions. Feel free to add in your student level, change your language if needed, and then generate that quiz. So as the quiz is generating, you are able to review all of these questions as they come in. And it is important to note that these questions are all editable, so you can update this question, any of the question answer choices and those distractors, along with this explanation that is here. So that way, this explanation is what students are going to see once they take this quiz. So let's scroll through and see some of our other questions. So we have a little simple quote here for students to analyze that meaning, like we asked in those instructions, along with some of those other literary statements and different parts of the play that was in the PowerPoint file. So not just about the play, but also about that um, the theater etiquette as well. So if you are scrolling through these questions and you see that there might be one that is missing that you do want to ask, you can click on this plus question anywhere in your file and you can add a question using AI or by adding a blank question. Let's do a short answer question and we'll ask how love and hate are portrayed in the play. Then to, for the suggested answer, feel free to type out what you would like, but you can also use AI to help by clicking that tab key on your keyboard. And then the AI will analyze your question and come up with a suggested answer. Once everything looks good, we can go ahead and save our quiz. Save it in the correct folder in your EdCafe library for easy access in the future, and then we can share it with our students. So to share it with our students digitally, we can click on this Assign key, and you can embed it in your LMS, share via Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams, or by sharing this link. So let's go ahead and paste this link in and act as one of our students. So students can type in their name to take this quiz, then we can go ahead and select some answer choices. Do note that students will have to submit an answer for every question, other to submit to select an answer choice for every question before they submit. Otherwise, they will get this error. So we can add in our short answer option here and we can submit those results. So students, after they submit, will get a quick AI summary along with a percentage score for those multiple choice questions. They can scroll through and review all those explanations, whether they got the question correct or incorrect, they will be able to see those. And then if we scroll all the way down to the bottom where we had our short answer question, you can see that there's also some AI feedback. So the AI feedback will analyze the student's answer, compare it with our suggested answer, and provide some feedback for the students based on that information. Back on our teacher side, we can actually review all of the responses that our students submitted. So with this overview, you'll be able to see that overview of your students' results. So you can go question by question and review. So if you notice, oh, you know, one student has submitted the correct answer here. I wonder which student that was. Feel free to click on this bar to see which student that is. That way you don't have to go individual by individual and see those results. So you're free to click on any of your students and see their results here as well. If you need another option to share with students and don't want to share it with them digitally, you can always export these options via Microsoft Word, a PowerPoint, or even Google Docs, Google Slides, and Google Forms. That way it's easily shareable with your students. So whether you need a fast comprehension check, a review activity, or formative assessment, this tool makes it super easy to generate some questions to test your students' knowledge.